So, unless, similar to, like, when Wendy first destroyed Face, that it's still going on, like, Alta Face is still active, unless there's some, like, extra twist that we're gonna get in the next chapter, chapter 8900 Years Quest, I'm guessing we're going to be seeing where it is that Selene went, obviously, Suzaku following. And, initially, I thought Selene was going to be, like, revealed to be heading back to mount black moon go to like her area maybe and my, my idea was like maybe her hot springs can like heal her or something like some form of like thing like that like oh maybe like the the water under the moonlight does something to maybe like speed up her healing or some you know some form of general idea like that to help her recover but they said that she's not in ellen tier at all anymore so following that it's like the question is like well where would she go where exactly would celine travel to in a situation like this because she got caught obviously like she decided that she wasn't going to just finish off suzaku in multiple opportunities that she could she was going to pretty much just try and toy with him and like eradicate him to get her revenge after like the reveal that it was one of her sons that suzaku with georg was you know defeated and then ended up eating because of that, she took a lot of damage from one of his attacks, like his top technique, and, well, top that we can guess, like, Dragon Force, he's definitely on Dragon Force, we know 5th Gen, and how dra their Dragon Force works, as well as it's banned within their guild, so unless Gior gives her the gives him the thumbs up, or he's in some, like, no other choice scenario, I don't even see him using Dragon Force. Besides that, really clear to me, at least the, the general idea, that Selene would be going somewhere that would be feel like a safe place somewhere that she can logically recover and given the fact that she is like this you know multiple century old dragon and she's gonna have knowledge and just general ideas around pretty much anywhere because she can freely travel anywhere she wants with her portals including across dimensions so for her to end up going somewhere say like maybe a secluded pocket dimension or something like that i could see but in the the general idea i figure that she's going to be going to her lair because dragons like they have somewhere like obviously that is their selected home like you know that's not just like a fairy tale thing that's just dragons in general we don't have anything selective this is like oh well they have to have a lair or anything but i feel like she's gonna have to have had her own general area to uh, again see as like her lair or nest because on top of being like a really old dragon she is a mother so i would assume that she's gonna have some place that she kept her eggs and her young uh, at one point in her life and logically speaking while in the state that she's in she would probably go to somewhere like that somewhere that is like the, the kind of like the most safe and secure location for her where she believed that she could go to recover uh, all her wounds and mend anything mend any issues that she currently has so Celine, i like i really want to know where exactly otherwise she would have went because the, the only thing that makes real sense to me at least at the moment is the idea of her going back to again her dragon layer it's like where would else should would she go would she go to like i know some people are saying like she could go to the moon unless she's got like a base on a moon somewhere which would be really cool to see but then it's like well then there's not gonna be any oxygen so what's gonna happen to suzaku uh, i don't know i mean it can have magically like uh an area where there is air it's really gonna depend on what mishima does like we're in a, like this is a really odd spot because Whenever I do prediction videos, there's like a general idea, okay, things are going to progress in like this general direction, like given where the previous chapter ended off. But we got one of those chapters that ended really just kind of like setting up or like ending the situation they were in, obviously like destroying all the face. And then like they're, they're pretty much saying like, you know, we're, we're going to do it, whatever it is that we want to do, whatever is like we see is the right way because that's like how fairy tale works. Like, it was a really good, you know, moment just kind of, like, reinforcing and reminding the idea of, like, you know, fairy tales and ideas and stuff. Like, their whole ideals around how they view life and their actions and everything. But it was in a way that it didn't give us anything that would hint at where that situation is going to go next chapter. Because I have no idea where, like, the, the ramifications of destroying all the face to the magic and elementary, like, how exactly that's going to play out. But also... 
we don't know anything about where, where Celine went, so the only thing we really have about her is that she's not an Ellen tier anymore, and obviously, like, she was hurt when she left Suzaku falling. They, like, there's not a lot to go off of right now, which is, like, it's all difficult, but, like, it, it just, the only logical thing to me that would make sense is her to go somewhere like this. It'd be like, you know, you, you can't go... Like, she can't go to, like, what, like, a dragon hospital, not a thing. Like, she's hurt. Like, where's the other logical next step that she would go to to recover? Like, you know, the safest place for her would be something like wherever is she calls home. Because I don't think, like, her Ellen tier place is, like, her, her main location. She's got to have somewhere that at some point she had her eggs and raised her dragon offspring. And, and again, that just makes... It's, like, the only logical thing to me. Because otherwise, like, is she, was she going to go to, like, Mount Zonia or something? I know there was, like, some ties to the 100 Years Quest. Because, obviously, Guild Arts went there and then ran into Acnologia. Maybe that'll end up being where it is. Otherwise, like, I just don't see any other logical area for her to just extend out to. Uh, like, unless she's going to be, like, at some completely new location that is, like, some big important lore spot that we'll end up seeing. Anyway, other than that, though, like I said, is there's not a lot that I can kind of work off of. Uh, I am very hyped to see where it goes because, like, Celine, I, uh, you know, I've made it very clear I really like her character. And I like Suzaku. So I'm, I want to know what happens to them. I'm still interested in all this stuff with all the face. It was a really weird plot twist, adding it in. And then now they've destroyed it. So it's like, well, where is that going to go? Like, what, what is going to be the result of that? And you know, like the fact that they destroyed all the face is like they're are they gonna mess with the magic in Elden Ring entirely? Is it just gonna kind of cool the situation they're in, or you know how exactly is this going to transpire? Anyway, other than that, though, comment below, uh, thumbs up the video, tell me your thoughts are about the next chapter because again, there's just there's not a lot of information to work off of right now. Just, just like just based on the current situation of what happens next, like late, way later in the arc, stuff like Elisaria, Diablos, Vierna, Zinc, you know, those are all like stuff that's going to be way later down the line whereas the next chapter it's it's in a very big you know multiple question mark place where it's a mystery but anyway other than that though comment, like i said comment below thumbs up the video friend like button, subscribe and check out my other videos but that appreciate it. everybody's already subscribed thank you all for listening bye